Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're back We're back on FE build number one, as you can see. And some things have been happening since we were here last. The inner fenders have been done. Engine's all wired up. And my partner in crime here is in the process of actually wiring up the truck. So while we're at it, put a little down angle here. We finally got our fittings in. Now these are what's going to make the power steering AN hose swap possible. This is an inverted flare end to go into the steering box. And then we have our 6AN end on the opposite end. So that's all it's going to take to do the conversion. And then we had a local shop make this little adapter fitting to screw into the back of the old style Ford power steering pump and get us down to the number six fitting. And that's some pretty welding on there. They did a good job on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this last one in. And then we're going to go ahead and start making the AN lines and getting it all hooked up to the cooler. But where I'm going is right there and in that little inverted flare opening. I've already put the other one in. It's right there. Right off the end of that stainless bolt in relation to the camera. And what these are is the adjusters to tighten the air conditioning belt. Which he made his own adjusters on this truck. And it's a pretty slick way he did it. And we'll show that in some more detail. I may have shown it in a previous video at a quick glance. But it's very interesting. Using what you got. It's just a true hot rod application right here. And it's easier to go under the inner fender to do this one. You have interference from the power steering pump can. So here's all of our fittings. Now, this is, like I said, this is the one we had made locally. This is for the return line. So I'm just going to use a blank off what basically a show fitting so that it looks like it's got an A in connection there, but it's just a hose clamp. And the return, of course, is very low pressure. So that's not a problem. Everything else is AN6. And as I've done in many other videos over the time I've been here at Fab Race Mod Repeat, I'll be cutting up this 6AN line and plumbing this thing with it. So here we got it in place. Nothing's tight yet, and we still got to do a little wiggling for clearance. But as you can see down in there, that's our return line. Here's our pressure line to the box. Let me get my hand out of the way here, and I'll zoom in there. Here's the pressure line. Then here's the return out to the cooler. And then that line down there is the one that comes back up, comes back to the to the can and the pump. Then way down here at the bottom, I'm missing one fitting, and that's a quarter to number six. Sorry about the shaky cam, kind of stretching here. I gotta get another one of those, and we'll be all done. And it'll have power steering. As soon as he gets it wired up, as soon as he gets it all wired up, all we got left to do is double check the lash on the lifters and fire it up. And then we'll just move on with the things that are being done to the truck. And here's all the harnesses hanging in for the painless wiring kit. Nobody's sponsoring it. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, he's got a nifty little way of adjusting the AC compressor on this thing. And I may have mentioned it in one of the other videos, but I don't remember because this series has been going on for so long between other requirements and you know, lack of time on both our parts and different things coming up, waiting for parts, various things. Here's the main pin that it pivots on. And these are nothing but two eye bolts. Got a nut here, nut here, nut here, nut here. So when you want to pull a belt tight, you just loosen these up on this side and then tighten these up on this side and it lets you keep it square. That whole bracket assembly right there, he made out of leftover metal from other projects. And it, it's really kind of neat. I'm going to take the phone off of the stand here. It's made out of a little bit of diamond plate and a little bit of plain metal and some angles. And here's the actual hinge pivots here, which is two separate bolts. And this one over here is just long and wide for pulling even on it. So you can actually cock it 
to get the adjustment there as well as down here in the slotted holes in the plates. So just a little bit of garage engineering that went very well. So we'll see how it does and how long it holds up because he plans to drive this thing quite a bit and sometimes in a spirited manner. So and we finally got the little MSD top on the distributor. So he's tickled to death about that. But anyway, and here's a shot of the other side. It, it's really very clean considering the FE was never intended to be inside of a Crown Vic chassis. It, it fits pretty good.